Wrestling. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome to this edition of Road Tripping with RJ and Channing. And I'm just going to basically say, I guess, the originals, because guess who is back? Back by popular the one and demand. only Kyrie. Kyrie, Alfred. Yep. Any middle Irving. name works. Any middle Andrew's name. my middle name, though. Oh, okay. Yeah. Andrew. Uh, that's, Andrew. Where, that's where Uncle Drew comes from. Uncle Ooh. Drew. Did not yeah, know Movie that. coming out. Plug, plug, plug. plug. That's dope. <laughs> Is it going to be on yeah. Netflix? Nah. <laughs> no, I probably will. It will. It will get there. Oh, let's get to yeah. that in a moment. I'm your host, Allie Clifton, and we are again in the air flying from Boston to Atlanta. It was a good game. My mind commanding my body. Yes, <laughs> yes. Here we go. Oh, yeah, right I love it. Get Think it, about guy. it. And just really get into it. There speaking of spe- speaking of your mind, Kai, and, and <laughs> I've at, never I answered segue. so many I, questions wait, 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 about Kyrie's mind. It's a great segue. segue. Now, for all the listeners, Kyrie, who is I, he is our most consistent guest host. We're not going to just call him a guest. He's an actual host because yeah, he's been here on the why most. called us the originals. Yes, uh, he is definitely one of the originals. Oh, geez. Were you, were you caught off guard by the amount of, of attention that it got? We weren't as a group because we know you're highly intelligent. I'm not going to lie. I was. Yeah, and it was All-Star Weekend, too. <laughs> were you caught off guard when – Adam Silver is answering questions. Neil deGrasse Tyson is answering questions. Yeah. Like you have oh, the, Bill the Nye highest. The science guy Bill Nye the Science Guy was not happy with you. No. Where like what, I didn't what, expect him to be though. Yeah, but but I understand. Yeah. But, like what were your thoughts when you were answering questions about this All Star Weekend? Well, well, one I was actually uh, I found it somewhat hilarious just by the reaction it got. That right there, before we went into All Star Weekend, we talked about this. Yeah, we were mm-hmm. like, this is going to be crazy going into All Star Weekend. Flat Earth, <laughs> round right. Earth, conversation, aliens. go get it. Aliens, no conspiracy theories. So as I'm in, as as I'm at All Star Weekend, um, I'm starting to see, you know, different news channels, different people pick it up, um, and it almost felt like, you know, I was standing on top of a pendulum, and I was like, <laughs> swinging back and forth. I was swinging back and forth, and then it gave everyone a chance to just. Look at me, and then if they didn't agree with me, kind of like throw rocks at me. Yeah. Just like, no, he can't believe this. And then you got all these science experts, guys that have been studying the space, the earth, everything for so many years. And I'm sitting back, and I'm like, okay, the fact that, uh, you know, that this is opening up conversation, I'm happy with that. Yeah. Right? The fact that it, it became a conversation starter, and honestly, people were asking me questions, and they were looking at me like I, like I don't. Like, I didn't have a, a brain on, or my parents didn't raise me the right way right, or something right, like that. Right, There's right, something right. wrong, definitely wrong right. with this kid. And that's when I started to kind of – I took a step back, and I was like, okay, this is more than just what I just said. This yeah, right here yeah. opened up Pandora's a whole box. bunch of things. Which is funny because – whole bunch of information as well. For so. a, yeah, for a while, it was, at least from my perspective, when I would do radio hits about this, it was you all have missed – the overall message yeah. of what Kyrie was trying to mm-hmm. say, but then when you say it like that, it's like you actually had people out there thinking. Yeah, yeah. Which is kind of like and what, what, that's what, all we should do, and that's fine. And and it's, right. and it's okay to think something that I guess the majority was out of the box. Right. Yeah, right. You know, I, I just didn't like the fact that that us being able to celebrate our individuality yeah. and things that we ultimately hold on to. And just because we don't believe what the world thinks or majority thinks, then mm-hmm. why why punish that? That that's the only thing I felt like that got misconstrued is just that yeah. it's okay to believe one thing. It's okay to have your own thoughts and be able to function and be able to formulate your own thoughts and opinions and then still be able to convey them to other people. Well one of the one of the things that so they asked us, ESPN called us and was like, Hey, can we use the audio? And I was like, well, I don't feel comfortable. I was like, I'd want to ask Kyrie, but you were getting answered so many questions yeah. anyway. So I didn't want to even bother you with this. So we decided not to not to even bring it up. But I, so I went and did the jump with Rachel Nichols. Shout out, we love you, babe. Um, and yeah, love one you, of the thi- one of the things that it was talked about was I said conspiracy <laughs> theories. I'm like, if you look at conspiracy theories, it's who shot JFK? Yeah. Uh, oh, is we can go down the line. Oh, Kim Trails. Like, well, Kim Trails was 9-11 an inside job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, you man. go down How the How li- did our road tripping handle? No. Our, our, oh, here. yes. Did you Kai. hear about this? Yeah, Kai, yeah, yeah. no that. BS. Okay. No okay. BS. Okay. So, now listeners. No, okay. no okay. listeners. So, Kai joked. Channing Fry, do not put me on a hot list, please. Channing, Lord Chan- have mercy. Uh, Kyrie told <laughs> us happening. that we were going to be on a watch list. And I want to say all the fans that remember this and the, and the, the few listeners and, and followers that we have, you guys remember that our Instagram was down 
for t 48 hours. All-Star weekend. All -Star all -Star weekend. weekend. And this is what the crazy part about it is, is, is people can say, oh, we tried to do that to add to co the conspiracy, but no. We would have gotten 10,000 more followers just based off all the attention that we were getting. So we're looking at our Instagram and trying to figure out why it's down. Mind you, it was certified by the NBA. It was verified by Instagram. So we had an official account that once we started talking about the world is flat, all of a sudden our account went away till Monday. Yeah. That right now, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but, man, that's a hell of a, yeah. a, hell of a coincidence. And FlatEarth.com. Flat Earther. Went out. Flat Earther. Went Got out hacked. Through. Yep, hacked. Wait, what? Yeah. yeah, oh, yeah. We were joking around, and uh, me and the wife were like, let's go just check FlatEarther.com. And it was like, oh, yeah, you've been hacked. And literally on before we talked about it, because, you know, my boys, we always talk about all this kind of crazy stuff. We have one yeah. boy who's super You still into believe it. in the Illuminati, which, I, which I, don't, I do. I do, but I'm not going to do anything about buy, it. Don't put me on the outlet. I don't, buy, I don't buy into the Illuminati. You're yes, crazy. Do I, with, yes, You're I do. crazy. Yes, the most I, powerful people meet in a certain place every year. It is documented. What do you think these people talk about? They're not the Illuminati, <laughs> though. Okay, it's a word. It's, it's not necessarily that's what they're called. Which if you no, think, the Illuminati is a specific group of people what from I'm the dawn of time. If you're saying there's a ton of powerful people ton that meet, or yes, at least twenty or less. What is the summit? What is the summit? The there, there is the a world. summit that everyone gets together and meets all the time. What do they meet about? They talk about world issues and what's going on. These are the most powerful people. Yes, they should meet. But I wouldn't say when you classify them in the Illuminati, right. that's almost like a religious group that's controlling. Like, yeah. that's just a different okay. kind of mentality there. How is that a different kind of mentality? Hey, 15 people well, are going to decide. Well, I'm saying if Bill Gates and Warren Buffett and these guys all want to get together, these guys control the American economy. I wouldn't say just because they've accumulated wealth that they are now a part of the Illuminati. Yeah, I wouldn't but say they that should either, get together. Are they invited to that? <laughs> They're invited wherever they want to go to tell you the truth with that I'm, amount I'm of money. Just be quiet. Hey, listen, guys. See, Kyrie. Channing's afraid. Yep. Don't put me on a hot list. On? That's all What's I got. Uh, do we have a new Netflix series coming out? <laughs> mm. No. It, <laughs> Don't get me about started. Okay, oh, Allie, okay. Allie, plug. It's okay. It's okay. The only reason why I say it's okay is because this feeling that you're getting in your stomach that we're talking about something that uncomfortable. Is very, it makes people very uncomfortable. It makes it's, me very it's okay. uncomfortable. It's okay. It's okay. And I'm going to tell you why it's okay. I'm going to tell you why it's okay because, look, fundamentally, <laughs> fundamentally, when you start thinking about, of course, con conspiracy theories, your mind starts wondering because a lot of the answers and a lot of the questions that we've had since we were kids, a lot of beliefs that have been given to us have been changed over time because of the information that's been given to us and the truth that we've come to find out. So when they start talking about the Illuminati and all that stuff, and, and obviously these groups of people, mind you, we don't know for sure whether they exist or not. We no. don't know. We don't know. But the fact that there is a belief means that there is something, something that we're holding on to as individuals that may be on our minds. That's all. Don't, don't, feel, like, don't feel like because because it makes you feel uncomfortable. I like I like feeling uncomfortable. It, it's though. okay. I'm oh. telling you, it's it's normal because we don't know much about it, and and we don't sit here and take guesses. Obviously, they. No, you know. Well, I keep like saying that. they, and they kept asking me who they was. The man. <laughs> they the man. keep asking me. The man. <laughs> they kept asking me who they was. Mind you, there is a, there is this thing that controls all of our lives, and it's almost like this thing, and it and it He's goes from a napkin. It it's goes from country napkin. to country. <laughs> And and this little piece of tree that <laughs> runs our lives, this money, and and uh, all the things that basically they say we have to have in order to survive and be at a different class. And I told you guys about the separation that they've given us. Oh man! And the fact that the world or or America owes who do we owe a quadrillion dollars China. to? China. <laughs> they not go. See no, a no. I'm asking you like. Like, as humans, though, who do we owe a quadrillion dollars to? And I may make, make, be making that up, but the fact that we owe oh, I think each it's like other money. Bi 200 bi trillion. To we're, who? We're China. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, That's China. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. For what? Everything. Uh, everything. <laughs> everything. Everything. Yeah, but, when's the last but, time you, but, oh, but you guys remember. You guys remember. Yeah, when's the last time what? Hey, do you guys remember the too big to fail? China couldn't have us. They couldn't call in their debt. The whole world economy would go. When was hey, but, 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 but.